For my project, I decided to make armor from the game Fallout. This project took me about 50 hours. In total, it is made with 16 unique parts and 8 of them are in the hands. One of my biggest challenges was trying to understand how the object in the game was shaped. I spent about 6 hours in game just looking at the armor to understand what it is I'm building. Another challenge I had was while editing one section of a build, for example, with an extrude cut, it would interfere with some other section. I solved this by not merging my extrudes so I can make them invisible and edit them individually. The most useful thing I learned on my own that we didn't do in class was the dome feature. I used it about 6 times in my project. Another thing I learned to do was to copy and paste extrude cuts. This is good for when you want to re replicate geometry in a non-linear or circular form. For my simulation, I chose the part making the arm between the shoulder and the elbow. I fixed the bottom, made it out of steel, and applied 3,000 pounds of force to the top. This did not exceed the maximum yield. This answer makes sense because the part was a short, fat rod made from steel, so it was very strong. The project is an object from a video game, so a possible misuse from that world would be a giant monster trying to rip the arm out of the man's socket.